this is my mini lathe. It's a 7x12 Chinese model. This particular one is made by Real Ball, but probably the most popular ones are those made by Sieg. But essentially they're very similar. And what I want to do is fit a DRO digital readout to the cross slide, just to make things a little bit easier. You can buy kits to convert these to digital readout, but the problem with them is, apart from the expense, is that they are rotary encoders. So you will need a rotary coder and um, a longer lead screw. But you still have the problem in that they don't take account of backlash. So what I want to try and do is fit a low cost digital readout which directly acts on the cross slide and is independent of backlash. What I want to do is try and adapt one of these. This is a digital tire tread depth gauge which uh, of course comes from China. You can buy them on eBay for £5 or less and basically they are uh, quite an accurate measuring system. They will measure in inches or millimetres and they have an accuracy or at least they have a resolution of a thousandth of an inch or 10 microns. So before I start there are a couple of things that we need to do to adapt this to the use. First thing to do is remove the battery and keep it somewhere safe. Now this slide has a friction plate inside it to provide enough friction so that the measurement isn't lost when you take the instrument off the tyre. That needs to go as well. Remove the sticky label on the back. and you'll see four small screws which need to be removed. probably quite hard to see with my camera resolution but this is a little spring strip which uh, on this model fits here. Other models may have a slightly different uh, friction mechanism. While you have it in pieces you could um, take the opportunity to clean the adhesive off the back of the instrument and also you can cut off these lugs which we don't actually need for our purposes. At this stage it's as well to put it all back together to make sure it still works after hacking about like that. Okay so it's back together now and uh, still working. What we need to do now is find some way of coupling this probe to the cross slide of the lathe. Now it'll obviously move okay in one direction but we need some way of coupling it so that it can be pulled in this direction. Uh, one solution would be to spring load it, but what I want to try and do is use one of these tiny neodymium magnets to couple the end of the probe to part of the moving part of the cross slide. 
So to do that I need to turn up some sort of adapter to fit this 3mm shaft to this 6mm magnet. OK, what I've done now is turn up a little brass adapter here which at one end fits onto this probe and the other is recessed to take the 6x3mm magnet. So now when the thing moves it's a bit stiff at the moment but I'm sure it will free up a bit. So we've got uh, 20 millimeters of movement here which I think is probably more than ample for what we need. So all I need to do now is find a way of attaching this part to a fixed part of the lathe and this magnet linked on to a moving part of the cross slide. Now with these DROs it's important to mount them out of the way of uh, cutting oil and swarf and so on. So what I'm trying to do is make a mounting which will position it here so that the DRO part sticks out of the front of the lathe but of course clears the uh, the wheels and so on. What I've done with the DRO is stick it with epoxy resin onto this small steel plate. On the back of the plate I've stuck a very small bar magnet. Small but extremely powerful, it's a neodymium magnet. So that mounts on the static part of the cross slide and for the moving part I've made this small bracket out of 8th um, angle and again there's a bar magnet cemented on the back of that. Right, first I'm going to wind the tool up so the tip of the tool is just touching the centre like so and I'm going to fix the bracket to the moving part of the cross slide. Now. Sticks out like so. Now I can take the DR itself and mount that, moving this all the way out. on there so that the magnet touches the bracket okay it's now fixed okay with everything in position you can see now how the DRO changes With it set up like this I can turn something up to 40 millimeters diameter. If I'm turning anything bigger than that then I just move the DRO back a little bit more. You can also see from this how much backlash there is in my lead screws.